In the last video, we learned that SPC is a prevention control method. Meaning, with SPC, we can identify beforehand that the process may produce failed part. This is something like future prediction. How do we do that? To understand this, let's talk about the principle behind SPC, probability. Probability is the likelihood of an event to happen and it is determined not based on some magic but on statistics. For example, if a weather forecast predicts 60% chances of rain, it is based on actual humidity and precipitation level plus the historic data of previous years. Statistics. In the same way, we use probability for calculating the cost of insurance and prediction of stock market, sports, politics and so on. But you must understand probability is very different from certainty. Let me explain. You already know that in flipping a coin the probability of getting a heads or a tails is 50%. Does that mean if I flip a coin 10 times I will get 5 heads and 5 tails? Not necessarily. Again, if there are 70% chances of rain there is only 30% chance of not raining. Will it rain? Not necessarily. Likelihood of an event does not mean it will happen. Similarly, a Six Sigma process does not mean that 3.4 defects will come in 1 million parts. The idea here is, do not be crazy about the numbers. It's just an estimate of how good the process is. See, it's very easy to become technique experts, but let us not compete or debate on how to calculate the effectiveness of a process up to three decimal levels. It will hardly make any difference. The purpose of SPC is to have the increased knowledge about the process so that we can take actions to reduce the variation in the process. That's a lot of theory. Let's understand how we can define a process statistically in the next video. See you there.